Digital Realty Trust is as its name implies. It is a real estate investment trust. However, unlike a lot of other real estate investment trusts, or the ones that many say are doomed, the commercial real estate investment trust, Digital Realty specializes in data centers. As you can see, 2022 was a very bad year for Digital Realty because it got hit by the same sell-off that hit all the other REITs. From its high to its low, it sold off 51.88% which made 2022 pretty excruciating. However, when the AI craze started to take off this year, a lot of investors realized that digital realty trusts might be in a sweet spot. Because companies do most of their AI processing in the cloud, they will need more data centers, which happens to be digital realty trusts' major specialty. In addition to having a tech-like growth exposure, digital realty trust also has the same kind of dividend level that you would expect from a REIT. Even at its current levels, digital realty pays more than 4% annually. That being being said, last year's sell-off was pretty exciting. So when digital realty popped above my cost basis, I decided to use some stop-loss limit orders in order to lock in some gains and reduce the allocation if we saw some weakness. My stop-loss got triggered on Tuesday and took in some gains with a sale that went through at $116.97. This sale only lowered my per share cost 0.26% down to $112.99, but I just needed it to be reduced a little bit. DLR was the biggest position in my pandemic portfolio before this sale. From here, I do plan to add more to this position if it sells off and tests its recent low for May, with my next buy target at $86.91. I also plan to take more profits. If DLR goes up and hits my next price target at $134.70, I will peel off more profits at this point. DLR is a very interesting investment for somebody who wants exposure to the high-tech growth area with an AI kicker, but but also wants exposure to real estate investment trusts. There aren't very many competitors in this space that fit this bill. And so for me, DLR is one of my long-term holdings.